everybody. Uh, this is Elizabeth from Organized Chaos and I'm so excited. I have my 2016 to 2017 um, teacher slash home slash everything planner um, set up. So I wanted to show you um, what I've put inside the planner today. Um, make sure you check out my blog and YouTube channel for um, more information about how I've set things up or if you want to purchase um, this kind of planner for yourself. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description box below on YouTube. Okay, so um, I have my same, um, this is an ARC notebook from uh, Staples. This is my third year using this. It's starting to get a little bit dirty, so I may get another cover, but I'm still debating what kind I'm gonna get. So I may be making a change. That's why I'm still using this old one for right now. However, I did get some new silver discs, um, which I got at Staples as well, but you can buy these in a lot of different places. Um, I got much bigger rings this year just because I've been doing a lot more decorating this um, past school year and I need more room when I start putting stickers and tape and paper all over my pages. It gets a little thick by the end of the year. This is the cover that I've chosen. Um, and then I've got Year at a Glance, which I'm going to be using to um, keep track of um, visitation that um, my kids have and other things like that. Um, that I need to know for a long term and just as a reference. And so right next to that, I've got um, a page from my um, divorce and co-parenting planner, which I actually have as a free download on my blog. So if you're someone in that situation, um, you might find this helpful. But um, I just have the holidays um, schedule, like what, the, what we've agreed to do. Um, because those are always hard to keep track of and vacations and then any other days off because um, when you're a teacher it's just a little bit funky all the visitation stuff. Um, this is my district's calendar and then right here I'm going to be putting my own personal class schedule and I just tape it in with washi tape once it's finalized. Um, this tab is for curriculum and I have here a page for long range planning for every grade level that I teach. And then behind that is the district curriculum, um, which is a change from what I've done in the past because in the past I just had the uh, national standards um, planning sheets. Um, but now we've created in our district um, a scope and sequence that's based on the national standards. So I've put that in instead. Um, Behind that is my little dashboard, which I made, and um, I have a tutorial on how to make it. It's really easy um, on my blog, but um, I use it to hold my sticky notes on the front and the back, and I have, you know, bigger ones on the back. And then this tab says month. It has all the monthly calendars. And then the weekly, which is kind of the... Um, main part of the planner. So I have the dates up here and then in this box right here that's where I write down um, you know a doctor's appointment or um, the girls my daughter's um, visitation when they're going to be visiting their dad um, blog posts that I'm going to be publishing anything that's not a lesson plan basically goes up here um, then here I write the rotation day and if there's anything else like we're going to have a dress up day or an assembly or something during the day for, at school. I'll write that in this space here and then these are my lesson plans. And then down at the bottom, I've used it for different things. I think this year I'm going to use it for um, meal planning um, to write down the dinners that I'm planning for that day. I have the to-do list and then the notes section where I tend to keep actually post-it notes here. Um, that then I can move from week to week if I need to, but I also write down notes from faculty meetings and stuff like that. So I have a little magnetic clip here that holds all of those together because there's a lot. Although I tend to only keep half a year in at a time. I've got the whole thing in right now. Um, this is new this year too. Um, 
for, I had to get a sub a lot this year because the girls were sick. It was their first year in preschool, so it was kind of inevitable. But um, I have here now a list of subs. When I find a good one, I'm gonna try to keep track of their contact information. And then a space to kind of tally, so sick days, personal days, professional days, or whatever, so that I don't have to keep going back and trying to count up how many days I've taken so far. Um, and this tab says school. This is all the school stuff that doesn't fall under curriculum or a lesson planning, basically. Then I have my sub lesson log, which I've used in the past and has been really helpful so that I know which classes have done what sub plans already, so I know if I can reuse it again in the future. Um, I keep a wish list of stuff that I want to purchase um, so that at the end of the year when I'm trying to um, fill out my budget, like I am right now, um, I can look and see the different things that I've thought of during the year because I tend to forget that if I don't write it down. Um, IEPs at a glance is just um, the most important information that I need to know because there's so many to keep track of. Um, so I keep the basic information in here. And I have a parent contact log, which is one that I've used before. And I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself, of keeping track of that this year. Um, so, and it was really helpful to be able to look back and see when I had sent parents emails or notes home or made a phone call and what they said or what I said. So I've got a few pages of that. And then this tab is TPT, Teachers Pay Teachers, and blog. So all of the stuff that I do outside of school and home. And this is just to track my um, budget, which is really, really helpful um, in tax season. And I've got one for each month. And then, okay, I have long range planning for, I'm this section I've actually slimmed down quite a bit because a lot of stuff that I used to have to write down to keep track of for my blog and Teachers Pay Teachers, I, uh, I've gotten into a routine now, so I don't really need to write it down in my planner all the time. But I wanna keep track of ideas that I have for a different you know, around different holidays and stuff like that, things that I want to publish or make or whatever um, in this section. And then product ideas, post ideas. And then this tab is my home section. So I've got special occasions, which is basically mostly birthdays, but also anniversaries and things like that. That's by month. And then contacts. I got locked, I locked myself out of my house twice this year since I moved into the condo at um, the end of November, which is ridiculous. But I was so glad that I had this because both times I also left my phone because I keep my keys with my phone, which you think would help. But um, so I had this Im information written down so that I could call my mom that has a spare key without having to look at my phone. Um, I laminated this sheet, which I did last year as well, um, and then I write down monthly cleaning. I didn't fill it in what my tasks are because I'm still getting used to owning a home and my cleaning routine is kind of changing. So I'm gonna write on it with wet erase marker and then I check things off as I go and then I can, um, it doesn't you know, rub off onto the other page because it's wet erase, but then when I'm done, I just use a baby wipe and clean it off. Then I have this for the kitchen, which is just unit conversions. Here I keep track of utilities and bills that I need to pay, like how often I pay them and how I pay them. Um, and then, you know, names of names and contact information for different doctors for me and the kids. I have a zippered pouch. This is where I keep I keep a few blank cards and envelopes and postage stamps. And then I also keep um, some pens, uh, extra pens besides this one that I have here um, in here. And then I have this pocket here where I throw in handouts from meetings. I also this last year kept all of the notes that I sent home and then got back from parents in this pocket, which worked out really well. Um, and then I have a little pen loop attached here. And I love this pen loop because it's elastic. So right now I've got this little skinny pen in here, but um, you can actually hold really big pens too, which is awesome. And then my back cover, and this is just a folder 
that I cut and then hole punched and I have a tutorial on my blog as well. But basically that is about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment, um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and um, thanks for watching. Bye!